The Atlanta Fire Rescue Department is an organization of approximately 1,100 uh, men and women who uh, serve through uh, 36 fire stations. 2008 economic downturn uh, impacted the City of Atlanta Fire Rescue Department in a major way. We laid off 27 firefighters. We cut our training staff in half, decommissioned our heavy rescue truck squad, and we ultimately lost one of our divisions of labor. With all of those drastic budget reductions, uh, the mood of the department was very grim and the morale of the men and women were extremely low. It was very serious. Uh, there were times when uh, we had to brown out fire stations. That means temporarily closing fire stations. Uh, on some occurrences, uh, we had to brown out uh, two, in some instances, three uh, fire stations to balance the coverage throughout the city of Atlanta. And that was a critical time for our citizens. We decided, in spite of all the challenges we were facing, we were not going to plan our funeral, we were going to plan our future. Strategic Plan Version 2.0 All Hazards Edition uh, was our statement for the future. The initiatives, again, are strategic in nature, uh, but we have made great strides uh, in accomplishing many. We've added 75 new firefighter positions in effective March of 2013 we will have all of our engines and all of our trucks staffed with four firefighters. We've restored our training academy staff and on our heavy rescue truck squad four. We also have two special operations task force stations. A special operations unit uh, is responsible for uh, many disciplines. They include hazardous materials response, high angle and low angle rescues, confined space, trench rescue, collapse the rescue and recovery, and most recently, swift water uh, rescue. With the fire department, the old cliche was if the uh, citizens or stakeholders need help, they call the fire department. Well, if the fire department gets in the scene and they need help, they call a special operations unit. Hazardous materials unit, uh, we mitigate situations. We'll go down and monitor the conditions, take action as necessary. We also make sure that the decontamination process is thorough and complete. High angle and low angle rescue teams are uh, trained in three different levels, awareness level, operations level, and technician level. This is extensive training that all members of that unit complete. Confined space is the most difficult operation because there's a very limited amount of space, there's a lot of equipment, and a lot of times these individuals are on supplied air systems. Special operations units are the guys that just go above and beyond. They have a special calling to serve in a different way. Atlanta Fire has a significant role in operations here at Hartsville Jackson International Airport. We have five fire stations, we have four ambulances, we have a squad truck, we have an EMS supervisor, and uh, we also have a mass casualty unit. Hartsville Jackson International Airport is the world's busiest airport. Aircraft firefighting is unique. The units use all type of uh, equipment from articulating turrets to thermal in imaging cameras uh, for suppression of aircraft fire. Our EMS units are able to uh, do everything from manage a cardiac arrest, whether it be 12 lead EKGs, to um, advanced cardiac life services. Atlanta Fire responds to about 300 calls a day. Two thirds of those are calls deal with emergency medical incidents in which firefighters, the men and women of Atlanta Fire, respond to and assist individuals, whether they're commuting through the city, whether they're residents of the city, and they take care of these individuals daily. By being an all-hazards fire service, we have basically committed ourselves, regardless of the emergency, we will be there no matter what the emergency is. We are uh, making some significant strides in gaining some of the things that we've lost. By the end of uh, 2013, we will have four firefighters on our ladder trucks and four firefighters on our engine trucks. Our firefighters and our members, both sworn and non-sworn, uh, never wavered in their service and commitment to the Atlanta Fire Department. The Atlanta Fire Rescue Department is really rising from the ashes of the economic downturn. Uh, and we are literally bouncing back. We've opened a brand new fire station. We've restored our training academy staff. And so we're year by year building up and creating that 2.0 version of the Atlanta Fire Rescue Department.
It will really be the model of an all hazards emergency response agency that strives for excellence and that has become an industry leader.